Philly.com, and today I'm with Armand James, who is the Republican candidate for the 2nd Congressional District in Pennsylvania. Armand, it's great to have you here. Thanks for being here. I'm honored to be here. How are you, John? I'm great. So, Armand, tell me, right now there's a lot of focus on Shaka Fatah, on his son, on his chief of staff, and potential corruption that has run in his campaign. This is bringing a lot of attention, not only to him, mm -hmm. but all of a sudden, this has brought attention to you and your campaign. What do you make of all of this? Well, first off, we've been having an amazing time getting out in the community and talking to the citizens of the 2nd District about their ideas of education, jobs, everything. So we haven't focused too much on uh, my opponent too much. Uh, I believe that his issues are serious. And I think that he hopefully will have his day in court where he can, you know, exonerate himself. But those are serious charges that we need. Right now, we're not focusing on his campaign or what he's trying to do. We're focusing on getting up the efforts in the community, um, trying to turn that vote around in November 4th. So a lot of parents are going back to school. They want their kids to go to a productive school. A lot of parents are worried about jobs and everything. So nobody's really focused on the congressman problems. So we want to focus on the problems that the people have, and that's education, crime, and uh, uh, jobs. So we're focusing on that right now. Armand, you actually mentioned education. You are a teacher in our school system here. Can you tell me a little bit about how that has helped you understand the problems in Philadelphia? I mean, I'm, I'm on the front lines every day with those students. I hear their dreams and aspirations of so many children on a daily basis. And the sad part of it, a lot of them won't ever reach their dreams and aspirations uh, if, if we don't have effective change in the American education system. We need tangible change. And every child in America, regardless of their social economic background, deserves to have a quality education. And that's the reason why I'm running, for those children I work with every day that want to have dreams and aspirations of being successful in life. And finally, I've noticed you've stayed above the fray, but why is it that with so many Democrats and Republicans uh, asking for you and others to really pound away on Fatan and the potential corruption, why have you stayed quiet on this issue so far? Because I feel like Fatah has been irrelevant in the district for a pretty long time. So I feel like, what's the point of uh, slowing mud at him? I mean, the courts, we don't, we don't have no information about what happened, and I don't know. So I don't want to slander nobody. I'm not focused on him. I'm running. I didn't run against Shaka because um, he had uh, an investigation. I ran against him because I thought he was a weak politician in the district. He wasn't representing the district. So that's why I ran against him. I had no idea about his investigations and all that. Um, he will have his day in court, hopefully. Um, and other than that, we focus on the district. And, and what are your district. plans? What are your plans over the holiday weekend? Campaign. Be out in the streets campaigning. And make those couple barbecues, eat a couple burgers, fries, you know, some of the things like that. But out in the streets campaigning and meeting more people. Great. Well, thank you very much. Reporting from Rittenhouse Square, this is John Featherman for Philly.com.